Welcome to the black screen of doom. Oh, or in other words, my voiceover intro. I've never done a voiceover intro before, but there you go. Um, so yeah, this is about my trip to Sydney and everything me and my family did there. So enjoy. You're paying, taking a picture of the smoking junk. Taking some video? I you. I really am. Hi. Hi Mum. Hi Andy. That's, that's, that's attractive. Very bridge-like. And a whole lot of people dressed in red. Yeah, I was going to say, they must. So, I can't zoom in, but... Oh, they're raincoats. Oh, they're raincoats. Oh, yeah. We thought they were monks, they were wearing raincoats. guy looking at like a double rainbow in the sky and just going whoa it's so beautiful oh my god what does it mean <laughs> it's a lizard oh he's running he's running oh it's a lizard he's so cute I've got a <laughs> video we have <laughs> we, we have lizards at home I saw a lizard the other day actually the first week that we moved in I found a lizard in our house I am not even joking No, I'm not even kidding. That was the best part of Sydney. Besides all the other stuff. So yeah, apparently I didn't take any footage of day two, so here is a brief rundown. We caught the bus to Bondi, sat by the sea eating cupcakes, I got really burnt, Andrea burnt her bottom, we shopped for bathers along Bondi, we caught the bus to Bondi Junction Shopping Centre, we shopped some more, we went back to our backpackers in the CBD, we went out to dinner to our favourite pub, the Edinburgh Castle Hotel, which I would recommend to anyone, $11 amazing steaks and burgundy pie, it's on Pitt Street. We went late night shopping for books, we went to bed. Alright, so here we are at the Opera House, doing a very touristy tour. <laughs> uh, my legs are so tall, that's okay. Oh yeah, look at my star. And now, Our Nation's History 101 with Ms Cunningham. Alright, so we're having a history lesson history with lesson. Mrs Cunningham, or Ms Cunningham, sorry, Ms Cunningham, yes. my mother. <laughs> and we are, we are looking right at the moment at this, this spot here, here. Yes. which my camera's not really focusing oh. that well, but you can kind of see a bit of a yes. flagpole there, which so is where they put the first flagpole when they came yep. to Australia, and this is where they did it. <laughs> this isn't the same flagpole, it's a replica. Yes, it's, well, it looks like um, it's old. <laughs> but yes, if, if you can read all that. And uh, yes, it's got a whole parky thing yes. here. And then the grand building. cannot be bothered reading out for you. Uh, the grand this is the joy of history. <laughs> <laughs> the epitome of the joy of history. Uh, and and that's a replica flag apparently, yes. a replica Union, union Jack. So. And the water's that way. The water's that way. Yeah, the water's down there. That circular key. That's, <laughs> and the water used to be up much further, didn't it? So it's been going out. It hasn't been going the in. The water was here. I don't understand that. They say there's global warming and the sea levels are rising. Oh, they built over it. Ah, 
are. The land. Does that mean we're actually? Oh, I thought you meant that we're kind of on water, and I'm, I got confused. <laughs> I win at history. Yay! So yes, that was history, Sydney history 101 with Miss Cunningham. I am so excited. She's so excited. We're all so so excited. I'm sure you're excited too. Wow. Well, that's because you're not wearing runners. See, I'm, I'm wearing sensible shoes. Yeah, we Mum's wearing sensible shoes. Mum's wearing sensible shoes. And Andrea is not. Well, but it's so not like you. We're going to the rocks now, and I'm going to book Harry Potter. Okay. Later that night, we saw Harry Potter 7 Part 1 for the second time. It was awesome. The Christmas tree made out of bikes. Tree cycling in the Tree cycle. <laughs> tree cycling for a tree. Bike. Uh -huh. That's amazing. That's actually, well, if you want to turn your head on the screen, that's a, that's a long shot. And then there's, there's my sister and my mom. Yes. Hey, it's me again. So apparently I took no other video for the rest of that day. But there were lots of photos. So I'm, you know, playing them in somewhat of a quick succession to make it kind of seem like it's a film. Yeah, not really working. But it was a really fun day. Like we went to the markets and then uh, we went out to dinner and went out to Harry Potter and saw heaps of pretty lights. Hooray, I have Starbucks. Like one of the only Starbucks left in Australia, maybe. Hello, Mother. Hello, Andrea. I am so tired. I am so tired. I am so tired, I don't care about the red double decker bus. I've never done so much walking in my life. Seriously, we've been walking for like, this is the fourth day? Yes. Fourth day, fourth day of, of walking. And we're, we're, we just kind of calculated. We don't think I've done so much exercise in like five years. Um, so, yes, today I have my, uh, what do they call it, grande? Because Starbucks is all posh like that. Um, grande skinny latte with three sugars to try and get me through the morning. I nearly didn't make it out today, didn't I, Mum? That's right. That's right. I, I was going to maybe quit today <laughs> and sleep, but I'm here because I am awesome. Hello, Andrea. How are you doing? That's good. Yes, so we're going to Manly. What are we doing in Manly? Market? Market. Market. Shopping. We went to the Rocks Markets yesterday and I bought pretty dresses and other things that I'm getting for Christmas and birthday. Woo! Alright. We're almost at the Manly Ferry. I do a lot of vlogging from Circular Key, I've just realised. I'll try and do more. Yet yeah, this is still the most exciting vlogging I've ever done in my life. We made it to Manly and it's freezing. It is so cold, so cold. And there are people surfing, but no one really swimming. Actually, there are people in their bathers down there. I can't really zoom in, but they're crazy. Actually, there's a lot of people in their bathers. There are a lot of people in their bathers. I feel old because I can't do that. I just can't. It's too cold. Shorts are bad. Yeah, yeah, you're in your bloody shorts and uh, oh well. We're packing up today and I figured it's about time we actually showed you where we're staying. So this is where we're staying. <laughs> What's the name of the place? Uh, West End Backpackers. West End Backpackers. Not bad. Not, not hugely great, not but it is the backpackers. So that's all right. But yes, so this is the front door. When you come in the door, you kind of see this. You see me. Hello, I'm in the mirror. Um, and we've got two bunk beds. That's a double bed bunk bed, so you're lucky. I ha I, that's my bed up there. It's a really messy one. And then that's Andrea's bed, and that's her, her invisible guest named Herbert. Herbert. Herbert was a very quiet guest, and we liked him a lot for that reason. Mm. You go through here, what you don't usually get at the backpackers, because we ordered a family room, so this is why we got it. Got a private bathroom. <laughs> with a toilet and a sink and another mirror, hello, and a shower. <laughs> oh, that's dirty. Look at my horse, my horse is amazing, give it a lick, it tastes just like raisins. Yes. Oh, 
dirty. <laughs> no, then it goes something like, oh, I can't remember the exact words. It's like, it with a tug of its mane, it turns into a plane. Then it turns back again when you tug on its winky. Ooh, that's dirty. Yes, that's it. Because that's dirty. The fact that it tastes like raisins isn't necessarily dirty. It's just more perplexing as to why someone would lick a horse and why it would taste like raisins if one did so. It's our last day. I'm filming again, yeah. by the way. I always have to preface that in case they think I'm actually, you know, taking a photo and they stand there and smile, which is also hilarious. <laughs> right. So we are, where are we going first? The cinemas to try and book a ticket because yeah. it's really wet today and we can't do much. Mm. Oops, I'm zoomed in. That's the problem here. That's all right. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's a, it's a DeLorean from Back to the Future. I don't know if it's the exact one, but it's a DeLorean from Back to the Future. That is amazing. Just, oh my god. Look, oh it's got an Australian flag on the front, ignore that. But, oh my god, it's a DeLorean from Back to the Future. Oh my god, that is amazing. I reckon Sydney pretty much wins at Christmas decoration. And now for how to become an architecture snob with Samantha Jones. If it's got squiggly bits, it's good architecture. Congratulations, you are now an architecture snob. You know, Sydney seems to be absolutely obsessed with ovals. Just putting it out there. Queen Victoria. And now, the history of statues 101 with Miss Cunningham. Miss Cunningham, no, will you please, <laughs> please have a lesson on this statue, please. But so where did they find it? They found it somewhere in Ireland. <gasps> but they're saying that the Irish presented it as a, in the spirit of goodwill and friendship. Oh, so it wasn't really hidden by the Irish because they no, hated it. No, no, no. Like you first Irish, thought. It was hidden. No, it was See, Mum thought that they hid it in an Irish bog because... Do you want me to uh, they hate I'll give my book out. Um, it was something about a dog. <laughs> well, it's not very nice to call her a dog. I mean, she's not pretty, but, you know. She was finally found in the, the village of Dane Game, Republic of Ireland, where it had lain forgotten since its removal from the front of the Irish Parliament. And now it's been fully restored. Fantastic. And now, the history of statues 101 with Miss Jones. If someone is made into a statue, people will take photos of it, even if they don't know what it is. Again, I'm saying that Sydney wins at Christmas decorations. It's so pretty. It's like a giant tree, but you can't see the top. Hello. This is, it's, just, it's just so pretty. <laughs> we found the top of the tree. The bottom top, there's a cute little clock here. And it's like a boat going around it. Where's the boat? Up there, can you see the boat? Just slowly go around. Goes around. Oh, oh it's getting away. It's getting away. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cute. Kind of like Melbourne, but it's better. I've got to stop saying it's getting better at things. We can kind of see a close up of it now. So there's a line and it says what day it is, what hour it is, what date it is. What's the XI? That's 11. There's the ship! There it comes! Oh. You saw a really good fucking Germany. Yeah. Not sure what it's doing. That, that was so not exciting. We found the wrong clock. This is the one that does stuff. That one does. <laughs> and now it's not doing anything. On the top of the tree. There it is! <laughs>